our hibiscus it's coming in really strong so we're having to get out and do some harvesting every day you can just see the beautiful beautiful blooms that we're getting every day Hibiscus is um, it's great for blood pressure. So if you are on some of these blood pressure medications and uh, you're trying to get off of it, then we highly recommend a hibiscus tea, right? and uh, give that a shot in your life small changes right? we're not saying stop taking your blood pressure medication but have a conversation with your doctor and say hey i want to get off of these meds i want to live a more holistic life And uh, that doesn't include blood pressure medication. And if your doctor doesn't want to hear that, you can find a different doctor. Those are hard conversations and they can be quite difficult challenging um, they could get kind of nasty too <clears throat> but pray about it seek the Lord's wisdom because he loves you and he doesn't desire for you to be tied down to a medication Of these beautiful pepper plants. <clears throat> I need to do some harvesting on those too. I think Noel said she planted six or eight hibiscus plants in this raised bed, believe it or not. There's a raised bed under there. <clears throat> you just can't see it right now. You better come here, young lady. Sometimes you get a chicken. I think she wants to be out. There you go, honey. See your egg. Quit picking at me. You're supposed to lay a green egg. Where's your egg? with dehydrating our peppers. I like to split them open. Not cut them in half, but just open the inside of the pepper up so that the moisture can escape easily. 
and I find that they dry in a lot less time and we'll get a prettier pepper a prettier dried pepper at the end of it I'm not saying it's the right way I'm not saying it's the perfect way it's just what I do even if I'm going to hang peppers up to dry I'll split the pepper just so the uh, the moisture could come out 